Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking on Newport News Disc Golf Course in Newport News, Virginia. So check out the comics, do the crossword puzzle, and let's go toss some plastic. All righty, we made it to hole one at Newport. 254 feet. This is my ideal first hole distance. Good one to warm the arm up. This is probably OB, but we ignore that, so we just call this a putt for the birdie. Starting off with a par. Hole two, pretty intense game of ultimate frisbee going on over there. I'm kind of jealous, but I'm also seeing a soccer ball, so I'm not sure what's going on. Still got a really long 70 footer. Oh, good run. For the par. Hole three, par three, 208 feet. We're actually throwing through the hole in the fence. This is a very unique hole design. I've never seen anything like this. Oof, hit the fence a little deep. 30 feet over the fence for the birdie. Oh, close. Tap and par. We made it in the woods. That was the most chaotic first three holes of disc golf I ever played at seven in the morning. They have a full flag football, ultimate frisbee, and soccer games going on. So you kind of feel like a dweeb when you're sitting there with your video camera and you have 200 people watching you. Hole four, 178 feet, pretty stock hyzer. We are playing the short tees today because that is where the signs are. Nice shot, we'll take that. First calm birdie putt of the round, 30 feet. Dang it, oh no. For the par. Traveling around, playing disc golf is a lot of fun, but you really do miss playing with the group. You miss playing with all your friends, you know you're always gonna have a good time, but you don't miss playing with those few individuals that you don't really like playing with, but you do anyway. If you can't think of any of those, it's probably you. Hole five, 215 feet, big Anheuser shot, going with the Pewaka Waka. Beautiful throw. All right, let's pick this birdie up. Hole six, 197 foot hyzer shot over this little ravine. We got about a 50 foot ante putt for the birdie. I have the most fun throwing these putts. They are my favorite. Oh my goodness. For the three, hole seven, 235 feet. There's this really narrow dead straight gap up the middle. I'm actually gonna go with a really high hyzer out up between these trees. Gonna go with the splice. Nice, I think that'll be a putt. Well, we left ourselves a little short, probably a 20 foot ante putt for the birdie. Not hitting many putts today. Does anyone else feel like when you take a few days just working on your putting and then you go to the course, you actually putt worse for a few days? Cause I get that feeling every time I practice my putting a lot. Hole eight, 157 feet, baskets tucked up to the right. I'm gonna try to flick a sidearm up there. For the birdie. It's weird playing all these new courses. You always go to your comfort. I have a pretty serviceable sidearm, but I always throw it to the side when I'm on new courses because I don't have the confidence in the sidearm. Hole nine, 230 feet. Baskets tucked up to the right again behind those trees. I'm gonna go with the same disc, same shot. See if we can repeat it. 
Oh, don't be early. 20 footer, let's see if we can get on that birdie train. Hole nine break, one simple question. I wanna know, when playing in a group or certain individuals, what are the biggest pet peeves that they do that can irritate your round? For me, it's a no-brainer. This guy I play with occasionally named Craig. When playing disc golf with Craig, out of nowhere, he'll bring up really heavy conversations that just dampen the mood. You know what I mean? All right, Craig, I haven't gotten out of the house in two weeks. The job's been rough. The newborn's been rough. I'm excited to just have fun and crack a couple cold ones. Let's do it. I've been constipated all week. What? Bro, we're getting older. Just eat fiber and keep your mouth shut like the rest of us. Whoa, okay, I get it. I did get kicked out of the train spotting group. What? Again, Craig? My aunt's neighbor's cousin's dog just had kittens. Your aunt's cousin's what? Craig, what are you even talking about? Bad man, enough. Let's just get this round going, crack some cold ones, and have a good time. Thank you, man. I really need this. Well, my wife left me. She what? I bet she did, Craig. I bet she did. Hole 10, 290 feet. We are gonna jump to the long tees for the rest of the round. The short ones were getting a bit boring and repetitive for me. A nice drive with the hacks. Let's try to capitalize on it. Not again. Second tripod hit of the day. Hole 11, 244 feet, dead straight, quite a bit of room to work with. All right, we will take that. All right, let's try to bring this round back a little bit. You guys let me know if you prefer the short or the longer tees. I prefer to play the longer tees, but the short tees are usually the ones with the signs. Plus on the short tees, sometimes you can see the basket. But if you guys prefer the longer shots, the long tees, I'm here for that as well. So you guys just let me know. Hold 12, it's time to pull out the distance drivers, 410 feet, dead straight. Pretty good shot. Left ourselves about 40 feet for the birdie. <clears throat> nice little run for the par. Hole 13, 269 feet. It'd be great to hold the ante the whole way, but dead straight's fine too. I threw that 10 years too long. I threw that so long. Luckily, this pine tree minimized the damage for us. Still probably have about 35 feet for the birdie. Oh, dang it. For the par. Hole 14, 260 feet, dead straight, but the disc has got to crash really hard left at the end. I'm going to go with my RPM Kia. Twenty feet for the birdie. We needed that. We got joined by a little friend and his name is Patrick. So everybody say hi Patrick. Hole 15, 188 feet, par three. Gonna go with a slight ante route the whole way. Little too much ante. My disc has houdini it on me. Not gonna lie, I thought we'd be in a better spot than this. Awkward little straddle pup for the birdie. Hole 16, 220 feet dead straight. This has ace run written all over it. Let's try to get one for the camera.
perfect line, just a little too high for the two. Hole 17, 380 feet. I'm gonna go with my two-line AJ Destroyer. This is a really nice driver. My good friend gave this to me not too long ago. We got the distance. Landed about 30 feet left of the basket, leaving us a big hyzer putt. Oh, dang. For the three. And rounding off Newport News Disc Golf Course, we have a 291 foot straight hyzer shot. I'm gonna go with my Nate Sexton Firebird, one of the most reliable fairway drivers ever made. Unfortunately, we did get caught up by these guardian trees, leaving us probably a 45 foot low ceiling putt. Let's see if we can end on a good note. As long as we're ending on a par, I can live with that. And that'll wrap up today's video at Newport News Disc Golf Course in Virginia. Honestly, this is a nice and peaceful course. You can hear the birds around you. It's perfectly maintained. The tee pads are new and concrete. The baskets are in great shape. There are two tee locations per hole. Only the shorts have a sign. Some of the shots do get pretty repetitive on this course and there are walkers going through at all times. So you have to pay close attention to that. I didn't have any problems getting to or finding the next hole. The shot shape selection is not the best here. This is not gonna be the most skill challenging course you've ever played, but it is a nice one. Overall, I'd give Newport News a solid 6.8 out of 10. It is a nice course, there's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't quite get to that next tier of courses. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Now it's your turn to go toss some plastic.